Three and a half weeks after the people cast their votes, the final results of the New South Wales Upper House election are in. For the first time, a legalised cannabis representative will sit in the Legislative Council, while One Nation increased its numbers from two to three. They came dressed for battle, the fight for the Upper House. It is now time to commence the final step required to complete the count. As the hopefuls watched, one by one, the 21 available spots filled. The last few votes went to the Liberals. Yeah, the last spot, yeah, um, absolute um, um, privilege to be elected to join the Liberal National Team um, in the Upper House. And cannabis has come to Parliament. The party pushing for its legalisation now has an MP. Very nerve-wracking, big day for the movement to see uh, legalise uh, cannabis in New South Wales. Mark Latham's re-election increases One Nation and the Liberal Democrats have grabbed the spot, a climate change sceptic who wants an inquiry into the COVID response. Did the masks work? We don't believe they did. Did the vaccines work? We don't believe they did. And we need to basically hold people to account. Labor now has 15 upper house spots, the coalition down to the same. Both the Greens and One Nation have made gains, 12 MPs in all on the crossbench. So in the minority in both Houses of Parliament, meaning the new Minns government has plenty of negotiation in front of it to get things done. We will try and find a way to work with the range of people that have been elected today. Anyone seeking a recount has until one o'clock tomorrow. Chris Mark, 7 News.